So here we go. This is how my phone is set up. Pretty clean. I've got a couple of widgets here. All Android widgets work just as normal. This is my Outlook. Um, and I like to keep my phone clean. Because I've mostly got the phone open, I essentially just keep, you know, five apps with my left thumb, five apps with my right thumb. Quite a good idea, I know. But yeah, that, that's how it looks. You can put a different wallpaper. I actually like the look of this wallpaper on the cover screen and the inside. So again, that's how your, your apps are going to look uh, on the outer screen. Now, first things first, wallpapers from HD Walls, not sponsored, but you can search HD Wall, HD Walls in the App Store. There's the little icon. That's what it looks like. And you get some outstanding images from there. Now, I have the Play Store already here because Wanda Mobile automatically open your device, install the Play Store. It saves you roughly one minute. I am genuinely serious. I had so many comments from people saying, but Mike, or average dad, how am I going to get the Play Store if I've not brought from Wanda or if you are buying a resold device? So when I sell all my Chinese ROMs, uh, devices, what I do is I clear the phones, I just factory reset because it's way more simple than going through each app or Google services and signing out. Um, so I just clear all data and what I do is I leave instructions on how to install the Play Store for the person, normally a subscriber, that has purchased it. But it couldn't be more straightforward to install the Play Store. So the Google App Store looks like that. That's the icon for the Google App Store. You then simply make sure from the home screen, see here at the bottom, there's different options. Click on apps and in the search bar, don't search Play Store, search for Gmail. You'll see the first hit you get is Gmail. Install this. What happens is it automatically installs Gmail with the Play Store. So you will have an icon on your home screen if that's how your settings are set up. But if it's the first thing you've done, then your settings will not be changed at all. You've not done anything. Simply install the Gmail and you'll have that with the Play Store beside it. And that is it. The Play Store is not some miracle like thing that, I don't know, produces magic. The Play Store is just an app. That's all it is, so don't get over complicated, don't just keep it simple. It's an app, and within that app, there are obviously millions of other apps. So it's simply an app from the Vivo App Store, and once you've downloaded it, you then have the Play Store and its full Play Store services. As you can see, I've got all my Google, Google Photos, Google Maps, everything is on here. Okay, so that's the first and probably most important thing. Now you'll notice that on my screen, I have removed every element of Chinese apps, bloatware, nonsense, even in the app drawer, I have removed all Chinese apps apart from the Vivo App Store, but that's only to show you how to download the Play Store if it's not already pre-installed. So I like this clean look. A lot of people Maybe don't prefer drawer style. If you want, you can have all your apps on the home pages. I don't like that. So if you're like me, simply go into settings, click on home screen, and then you'll see there the first kind of option is home screen settings, and then see how you've got different styles. This is where you select drawer style. Now, once you've selected drawer style, you can then click on any or all of the apps, press and hold, and then you'll see there, remove or uninstall. You can remove all the apps from the home screen, which keeps them in the drawer. If you want them removed from the drawer as well, again, simply press and hold and uninstall the app, uninstall. That means you're not gonna have any of the Chinese bloatware. Another thing I like to do within the home screen settings, so click on home screen settings, Scroll all the way down and you'll see here, swipe down gesture. I always set this to notifications. You can do whatever you like, it's your phone. But for me, I like to be able to swipe down and get my notifications. Obviously a double swipe will bring up all your quick toggles as well, just like your iPhone or 
any other Android phone you're rocking at the moment. So swipe down and the home screen settings will bring up notifications. So if you're looking to change your system launcher from the stock Vivo, which by the way, some of you might be surprised, this is just the stock Vivo launcher. What you want to do is go into settings and then scroll all the way down to apps and permissions. And in apps and permissions, simply go to permission management, permissions, scroll down, right down to the bottom, which is default app settings. And then in here, input method, the one you want is home screen. So home screen launcher, if you had downloaded Nova Launcher 7, for example, it would be here. Simply select that, the word replace would come up and hit replace, and that's you changed it to Nova Launcher. Simple. So you then have a Nova Launcher as your permanent home screen launcher. So another important thing uh, and an issue I hear all the time is about receiving notifications. So what you need to do on a Chinese ROM device is go into the settings menu. I'm already at battery. Sorry, go into the settings menu, scroll all the way down to see battery. And then in battery, scroll down to background power consumption. And here you're going to see all your apps. For all the apps that you want notifications for, make sure that high power consumption is selected. That means that you will get push notifications through. Now, as far as setting up, obviously, notifications and badges. So in order to set up your notifications on the notifications menu, just go into where do I want you to go. Oh, app notifications. And then in here, you can set how you want the apps. Now, if I select Instagram again, you can see here everything is set to on and I want them to display on the lock screen, the home screen, banner mode. So everything's set up for all the apps that I want to receive notifications for. Other questions about Chinese ROM devices that I get all the time, um, and you're going to have to take my word for um, some of this. I'm not going to go in, but the banking apps for UK and wherever you are work just as normal. So again, I'll, I'll not go into that. There we go. Um, what can I go into? Google Wallet. It works just as normal. So your Google Wallet is there. I've not added any cards, but NFC works just as normal. You can add any of your cards. Um, Sky Go works, obviously your usual Netflix, Disney, but if you've got any app questions, trust me, they're all going to work. If they work in the Play Store on your normal Android device, they're going to work on here. It uses Google location services. It's not a Huawei. Huawei cannot get access to Google location services. So even when you sideload or, or do workarounds to get certain Google apps, you will not be able to use Google Maps, Google Security, patches, anything like that. You can't do it on Huawei. Other Chinese ROMs, Vivos, Xiaomi's, Realme's, absolutely fine. So there we have it. That is how to set up your Vivo X Fold 2. Remember HD walls, remember to get notifications, all that stuff. This is the video you want to watch.